itself. There are a lot of vines growing on these trees. How are the men holding up? In the year 73 BCE, at the Ludo Training School for Gladiators, in the Roman province of Capua, a group of enslaved gladiators plotted their escape. Though they were 200 strong, their plans were revealed stopping their efforts. There were, however, about 70 left who still had the will to fight. Back straight. Knees bent. Stand high. Swing lower. Come on, there's a weapon wagon out front. Let's resupply before we get out of here. Let's go. After their escape from Ludo, the band of 70 gladiators defeated all their pursuers and proceeded to plunder the region around Capua. In doing so, they were able to recruit many more slaves and build their numbers. After a while, they retired to the caldera of Mount Vesuvius to set up base. In response to the group's actions, the Roman Senate sent Gaius Claudius Glaber and a militia to put down the raid. How are the men holding up? We have every path leading to the summit blocked, sir. Good, good. Make sure they hold their position. We will crush these rogue slaves by cutting off their supplies. They can't stay up there forever. Yes, sir. So our men say the enemy is 3,000 strong, and they have every path to the mountain blocked. <sighs> you know, there are a lot of vines growing on these trees. We could use them and turn them into rope. Then we could scale down the mountain, and we could lead a surprise attack. But do you think our men can handle it? They lack training. We'll have the element of surprise on our hand. All right, let's try. to outflank Glaber's forces was a success. The militia was devastated. A while later, another band of mercenaries were sent by the Senate. They were also defeated by the escaped slaves. Meanwhile, at the Senate. Sir, Publius very nice was defeated. First Glaber, now very nice. I'm afraid the rogue slaves' numbers are growing by the day. This is disturbing. We need to do something quickly. These slaves are becoming more powerful every day. Go find Publico and Lentilus. Tell them to dispatch their legions. We need to end this now. Yes, sir. Crixus separates from Spartacus and takes a group of slaves south where he ends up confronting Gellius's legion. Meanwhile, Spartacus, who is heading north, meets with a messenger. Marcus! Marcus! Are you okay? Do you have news of Crixus? Yes. He's dead. His legion, his forces, they were killed by jellies and legions. All his men are dead. Darn it. Uh, can you do me a favor, please? Go, tell my men that we're going to continue our march north towards the mountains. Okay. Spartacus's forces marched north, but were cut off by Lentulus's legion. Spartacus managed to defeat Lentulus, turned around, and also destroyed Gellius's legion, who had been pursuing them north ever since their victory over Crixus. Those who escaped fled to Rome. Not feeling ready to attack Rome, Spartacus retreated to south of Third. Sir, I have horrible news. What? 
We were on the verge of victory and Crixus was defeated, but Spartacus' forces have managed to defeat Lentulus and Gellius' legions. <sighs> we have no other choice. We need to send him. You don't mean? Yes. Marcus Licinius Crassus. Now go. Yes, sir. After remaining in Thury for a while, Spartacus began to move north again. Along the way, Spartacus' forces were stopped by Crassus and his six legions. After many losses and losing thousands of men, Spartacus and his remaining forces retreated south towards Regium. Once in the city, Spartacus and his men had their supplies cut off by besieging Crassus. Meanwhile, at the Senate... Sir, currently Crassus has Spartacus trapped by the Regium. This is taking longer than we thought. No, I hear Pompey is back from Hispania. Go find him and tell him to head south and give aid to Crassus. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, in Regium, Spartacus, who had heard about Pompey's approach, decided to try and negotiate with Crassus. Had the scouts returned yet with Crassus's reply? I'm sorry to say, neither has returned. I feared this. Crassus is known for his cruelty. Alert the men that we're going to try and sneak out of the city at nightfall. Maybe we can make it north to the mountains. Go. Okay. A small portion of Spartacus's men managed to break from the city and escape north towards the mountains. However, along the way, they confronted Pompey's forces and were forced to turn around. We're trapped! Pompey is to the north and Crassus is to the south. With such large numbers, we can barely put a dent into their forces. Tell the men we're going to march south and face Crassus. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die fighting. Sir, we have captured several escaped slaves. What would you like us to do with them? <laughs> Kill them! Kill them all! Display their bodies along the roads as a warning to any other slave who thinks he can rebel against the Roman government. Go! Thus, in 71 BCE, the third and final servile war ended. Most of the rebelling slaves were either killed in battle or executed. Spartacus's body was never found. I am Poseidon. God of the sea.